Make sure it's focused. Is it focused? Yes. Sure? Yes. Okay. Was it focused in the, in the last Crush Corona video? Some. Some it wasn't. <laughs> like, half, half press on the button. Like, hold it. There you go. See how it's changing? Oh, yeah. It's going to green. Yeah. Don't tread on me. Your shirt has the don't tread on me snake. Yeah. Okay. How was the don't tread on me thing even made? Uh, a couple hundred years ago during the Revolutionary War. They really? Made it. Yep. Wow, that's old. What's the first ingredient? Ten cloves of garlic. So I gotta cut up a whole mess of garlic. Well, I know I need that. So set that on the counter for me. A purple onion. We don't even need an entire piece of garlic. Just about. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm -hmm. We're going to do them all because I'm doing a little bit of extra chicken, so. What? Yep. Extra chicken means extra garlic. I will get you a knife. Grab me the little stick. Thing. Not quite as intimidating. Peeled an entire head of garlic, now I get to cut an entire head of garlic. No, look how I made the rattle. I took the pizza cutter and I put some. Yep. Alrighty, so we have our whole head of garlic minced up nice and pretty like. Now we're gonna add our spices. So I'm doubling this recipe because we're making an extra What's chicken. The big camera? It's okay. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is paprika. So the recipe calls for like regular paprika, but I like to do a 50-50 split of regular and smoked. So I'm going to do a half a teaspoon of each. I'm going to do the smoked just to give it just a little bit more of that barbecue-y, smoky taste. Uh, now we need allspice again, so I'm doubling it, so I'm going to do a full teaspoon. Uh, nutmeg again, full teaspoon, and finally the cardamom. This one is a half a teaspoon, and then salt and pepper, just two taste. And then the last thing we need is olive oil. It's six tablespoons. Six. Six. After it's been all mixed, you get this. Super yummy marinade. So now we're gonna marinate our chicken and let it rest for about an hour and then we'll start grilling. So this recipe is very interesting. I've never done this before, this recipe, but when you marinate the chicken, you marinate it on a bed of red onions. Um, I don't know if it imparts any flavor, but I'm gonna say that it did. This is literally the best chicken I've ever eaten in my life. Okay. So. Bye. <sighs> it's getting to me. Got chicken tenders for the little guys. Saran wrap on that, put it in the fridge for an hour, and then we will grill. It smells really good. So, now we're just sitting right there. So, the chicken is marinating. We got about 30 ish minutes to kill. Uh, turkey season's almost over. I haven't shot my bow since deer season, so we are gonna go shoot the bow for a little bit. Boink. Draw. Here you go. There you go. Boink. I mean, I knocked the deer's head off. Yeah. <laughs> All right, go get your uh, 
arrows. Okay, and I'll put it. So, I can, I can tell I haven't shot my bow since January. Good luck getting that out. Ow. What? Oh, I nailed you right in the leg. Yeah, took off a chunk of skin. Where? On my shin. Oh, probably didn't feel nice. No, I did not. Where? Right there. So, chicken is just about ready to go on the grill. So we're gonna go ahead and start making our couscous to go with it. Uh, I got this recipe from uh, the Magnolia Table Cookbook. Haven't made it before, but everything we've ever tried out of this cookbook was stupid good. So, we're gonna see how this turns out. Are you cleaning? Can you vacuum up that stuff that fell off the counter? Hey, bud. Right there, get that. Suck it up. Thank you. So instead of just doing like regular couscous, we're doing uh, a whole bunch of stuff in it. So we've got shallot, garlic cloves, kale, dried cranberries, and sliced almonds. And we're gonna cook all this up, make it good and bougie. It's gonna be so good. So couscous is made. Now we're making all the stuff that's gonna go into it. Melt some butter. And in just a second, we're gonna throw in our shallot and our garlic. And let that get soft. Kale and cranberries added. I'm gonna stir these in and then cover it. And let that kale steam down. Alrighty, so we got the couscous done, chicken on the grill. It's time to flip it over, see how it looks. Smells so good. It looks so good. Mm. Ooh, it's hot. Yum.